Let's create a Power Automate flow from inside Business Central. To start, you'll have to go to Feature Management and check to see whether you can turn it on within your current version. This is a SaaS environment, which means that it is possible to use Power Automate within Business Central. And also, I've got this turned on, Run Power Automate Flows, for all users in all companies. I think the general release here, it says it's quarter 4, 2022 of version 21. Once you have it enabled, you can go to any area in the system and you'll see this automate option. You'll see the option to create a flow, manage flows, and if you have any flows that are available against this page or table, it will also be in this list area here. So for now, let's click create a flow because we don't have any existing on the customer area, and this will take us straight into Power Automate. Once it's loaded, it will show for a selected record, and this is where we want to have the trigger. So we're saying, let's make a flow available in this environment, this company, and this page or table. If you choose a page, that's self-explanatory. If you use the controller F1 to inspect, we can see that this page is 22. If we use table, then the automate flow will show wherever the table is sitting beneath it, which means that if I use the customer list, that will appear if I'm using table 18. And if I click into the customer card, which is still table 18, the flow will still be available. For my flow, what I'm thinking about is taking a customer, perhaps one that's got a high balance, and letting a flow do two things. Set them to blocked all, but also send the customer an email and let them know that they've been blocked. So, to do that, if I go into create a flow, which open when I click create a flow from the page, I can choose the environment, the company. I know that it's table 18 for the customer. And here we've got a choice of input. An input is something that will pop up when you choose to trigger the flow in Business Central. So for here, I have text, yes, no, file, email, number, and date. I'm gonna click yes, no, and I'm actually gonna offer the user whether to block the customer each time that they run the flow. Now I'm using this as the trigger, but I actually need to get the record details itself, which starts with a new step. And this is get record. To search through Power Automate, you can just type in the area that you're using, which could be Outlook or in my case, Business Central. And in here, if I click Business Central, it gives me the options of which I can do. For me, I want to use Get Record. Again, here I've got to put in the environment name. Prod Kronos. The API, I'm going to use the standard API, which is V2. And then here it will give me standard options, and this is the one that's normally connected to Dataverse. But I'm sure if you have any custom tables or extensions, you can easily build an API to contain these uh, custom tables as well. So now I need to choose the row ID, the unique identifier. And for that, I'm going to choose system ID. I don't want environment, company, or table. I want system ID, which will be the ID of the table record of which I'm on. So for customer, it will be the customer number. So now I've put that in. It means that I can get the record. It's get, it knows what record I'm selecting. And here I'm cho I've chosen it as the system ID, so it knows exactly which record and what sits behind it from the table. So now I'm going to upgrade my flow a little bit and add in a choice. And I'm going to say, here where we're saying blocked yes or no, it's going to give two paths, yes and no. So to do this, I need to go to my blocked option. I'm using the dynamic content here to choose it again. Down here, I have my blocked question mark. As it's yes, no, I'm going to use true, false. I'm going to say where blocked is true, which is yes. OK, well, if they did choose blocked, what should happen? Well, I think two things should happen.
Firstly, we should update the record and say, right, well, this record is now blocked. <coughs> this one I want to be consistent. Use the system ID. Find the blocked option. Set it to all. Which I know is a user, if it's a central. Then I'm going to add another option, which is the end of the flow. This time I'm looking in Outlook. Because I want to send an email. Who I want to send it to is found within dynamic content. This time it's a little bit cleverer. It knows that I want to add an email address in the to field, so it's showing me my options. I could actually send it to the user who triggered the flow, because it's it's included within the trigger. I can find the trigger in the get record and update record, and unless I'm changing the email within here, they should both be the same. I could use the get record. And in here, I can tell them that they are placed on stop. On stop. Your premise count. And the body, I'll use, let's use display name, which will be customer name. And I'll say, please check your Cronus account. Okay, it's just a normal email. That's the end of my flow on the left hand side. But what if they set blocked? is false, so they don't want to block the customer. In that case, I should send out an email. The two will be the same, going into dynamic content and using email and the subject. Say warning. And here I'm going to use display name again. You are close to be placed on stop. Okay, so from here, I'm going to look to save it. it says I'm ready to go. If you do a little check, got no errors, got no warnings. And now it says I can test it. I could try and test it in here, but I'd rather test it in Business Central. I'm going to go to Business Central, give it a refresh. Go to a customer, which is overdue. We have this one, the big figure. Click automate. I've now got my not named yet flow. That brings up the automate on the right hand side. Because I haven't used this flow before, it's got to sign me in and check the permissions. BC, Outlook, that's what I'm using. I'm now going to set them as blocked and run it. This time it's been run. <clears throat> Let's go to here. It starts 11 seconds ago, it took six seconds to run. I can click into it, the time to show the run of the float. Okay, it's found the record, it's got the record, what happened on condition. Okay, it came to true, so it's gone down here and it sent an email. If I check my emails, it says on stop, please review your Cronus account. You're placed on stop. If I check the customer, that's because of the email that I picked up here and it's set blocked to all. So that's it.